And now, Pipe we are set to go with our next bout tonight. Three five minute rounds. This scheduled in the lightweight division. Making his way to the cage first, a karate fighter standing six feet, even weighing in 155 pounds. As a professional, his record stands six victories and three defeats. He fights out of Victorville, California. Here is the technician, Joe Cumber. Here we go with our next pro fight, the six and two Cobra Kai representing Joe Condon. This guy is super charged. He's, he's literally like bottled intensity. Very cool, very quiet guy off stage. When he gets on the big stage, he's ready to perform. He's ready to pop like a champagne bottle on New Year's. Yeah, he trains under Joe Stevenson, the ultimate fighter winner and longtime UFC veteran, a guy who, not a bad guy to have, uh, to be under the wing of Joe Stevenson, Cobra Kai out there in Victorville, California. Both the same weight, so you know they get a chance to spar together a lot. Although very different body styles. Six foot, six feet tall Joe Conan versus the barely pushing five feet of Joe Stevenson. Yeah, a definitely different stature for sure. Condon with a karate style. A little bit different. It's something we've seen hints of from fighters like Leo Nishida. Could be an interesting matchup against Sergeant Vince Ortiz. Ortiz comes in out of the body shop, Antonio McKee's gym. Just down the 605 freeway from exactly where we're standing right now. Yeah, and, and you do not attend Antonio McKee's gym and train anything less than hard. Yeah, you go in there. If you go in there midway through a practice, you'll see why. I mean, the walls are, are sweating with the perspiration of all the fighters in there. The mats are just covered in perspiration. Every fighter there is covered in perspiration. It's just a hard, hard practice room. He too weighed in 155 pounds and enters the cage with an even professional record. Seven victories, seven defeats from Long Beach, California. Here is the Army Sergeant, Vince Ortiz. And now it is time to pull rank. Sergeant Vince Ortiz, seven and seven. Again, out of the body shot. Oh, better. Always looking to take himself and his body to the next level. He prefers to fight on his feet. Doesn't care if it's off his feet. I've seen Ortiz on the ground. He doesn't look any less comfortable to me. Yeah, real rounded fighter. There are a lot of very good wrestlers at the body shop. Obviously, the alpha wrestler being Antonio McKee. A lot of other very good wrestlers in there. And so it's, it's that's the bread and butter, I would say. And the guy also, a sergeant out of the Marine Corps. Once again, another guy we show respect and gratitude for for what he's done, wherever he's done it, however he's done it. The armed services, absolutely, he gets the respect. With no offense to the fighting of Joe Condon, but once you've taken machine gun fire in a foreign country, there's not a lot that Joe Condon can do to intimidate Sergeant Ortiz. Yeah, I've seen Ortiz in very difficult battles that he's won. He's 50, 50 seven, and seven. I've seen him in fights that he's won and lost. And then not in one of those fights has he shown quit. He's either been beaten or he's beaten somebody else. But he's never been in the fight and given up and kind of like just like phoned it in at that point. That's not the guy he is. And that's the kind of fighter people like to see. Yeah, you're not going to find a disappointing fight here, I think. If Condon and coming at it as Jimmy does, in both styles, I think you're going to see some action. John Three five-minute rounds scheduled here at Bama USA. Condon in the blue, I mean, sorry, in the dark black, and in the dark gray with yellow and the ankle wraps, Sergeant Vince Ortiz. A nice combination right off the bat from Ortiz. Good striker, doesn't have a lot of reach for, for his height. He's quick though. But he is very fast, yes, his hands are very, very quick. Just right there, and that's a combination to the face of Condon. Condon with a karate style, you can see already a difference in the stance too. Late kick now. Check by Ortiz. 
Ortiz has a very, very boxing-oriented striking style. Condon mixing it up, leg kick, body kick. Kind of a little more of a Muay Thai stance. And he might want to keep Ortiz at bay at least a little bit more than that. Yeah, Condon has definitely experienced the speed of Ortiz early here in round number one. He goes for a takedown right away. That's how you take care of the speed of a good boxer. Yeah, Double leg down. Ortiz will pop in and out all night if you allow him. Jockey for position now. Condon getting that side mount position. Up against the cage like that, it's kind of an awkward position. Both guys, top and bottom, can't really move the way they want, but it does give the bottom by Ortiz the wall, the cage wall, to be able to get up. And it's like an extra piece of leverage. Ortiz gives up his back in an attempt to not get mounted. He's got one. And now he's fighting off a rear naked choke by Condon. Condon's got one hook in, now two. Good position here for Joe Condon. The man coming from the background of karate out of Joe Stevenson's Cobra Kai. Now looking to choke out Sergeant Ortiz. You can see in the upper right hand part of your screen, Joe Stevenson shouting instructions to a student, Joe Condon. One thing they teach is when you go for a takedown, take him over to your corner's side of the cage so that he can't hear his coach, but you can hear your coach. Now full hooks, he's gotten, got Ortiz flattened out. Great position for Condon right here. He can strike. But he's not underneath the, uh, the neck anymore. You see right there, Ortiz has managed, managed to fend off the choke at that time. Now he's got, uh, now he's switching to mount, going for a, an arm triangle. You can't tell from this position how it's set or how it's settled, excuse me. Here's where the longer round in the professional ranks can be at, as, uh, as much of a problem as it is a positive for someone looking for submissions, Ortiz has the task of trying to survive this. Yeah, it's no fun, very opening round, very opening few minutes of an opening round to be stuck up against the cage, on bottom, with a guy who knows how to use pressure, knows what he's doing on the ground. It can really wear you out for the entire fight. Your naked choke attempt by Condon, this could be deep. It's, I think his chin is, I don't think it's under the chin, but it's close. It looks like it's on the chin. He may get more of an effect cranking it than he will from choking him. Sometimes that pressure on the jawline is, is more difficult to bear than the actual choke. Now it's in deep, it's over. And that's, that's it. it. First round submission, rear naked choke Joe Condon over the Sergeant Vince Ortiz. Textbook way to win a fight. Takedown, position, submission. Joe Stevenson's one happy coach right now. Falls to seven and eight now. Well, Condon also steps up to seven and eight. Ortiz, not an easy guy to finish. And again, coming out of the body shop, he's dealing with top of guys who are trying to do that thing every day. Condit simply did what he needed to do, and he did it well. Corner shake hands, Condit goes over there first, now Joe Stevenson to show sportsmanship. Joe Martinez will make it official, but nonetheless, submission victory for Joe Condon, the technician. That name has just become a little bit more apropos. Joe Condon win by rear naked choke. Just a standard issue, mixed martial arts victory. Double leg takedown, get your position, get side mount. Mount to hooks in, back to mount, back to hooks in. Take your time, get that submission. All right, I'm in the cage for the winner, Joe Conn. Joe, congratulations. Great performance. We see where the name, the technician, comes from now.
You have a background in karate. It seemed at some point you decided, let's take this to the ground. Was the ground your original plan? Um, yeah, yeah, the ground is something I actually am um, really good at and tend not to go to in the fights. And my coach said, I'm a ground fighter, I'm really good there. Sometimes I need to take it there to finish fights. What was the most difficult part about the fight up until the finish? Um, actually, Vince, he was throwing, man. I didn't expect him to throw that much from the beginning. I thought he was gonna try to take me down. And it threw me off a little bit, and I seen my uh, opening to shoot on him. Took him down, stayed composed, and found my finish. Did you know, initially, you were not under the chin, you were more across the jawline. Did you know you had him at that point? Yeah, yeah, I knew I, knew I could finish from there. You, it just takes time, I wasn't wasting a lot of energy. I was uh, being technical and finishing my uh, forearm under there. A very technical performance, a very impressive performance. Who wants to see the technician back in here again? That's more than two people, my friend. Hope to see you again soon. Congratulations, the technician, Joe Cotton. Let him hear it.